It's alive! It's alive! Ah! Yes, it is alive, and yes, it is pumping. Look at that little flow meter hauling butt. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I can't believe that idea actually worked, dude. Using those barb fittings, heated the tube up, and then pressurized them, and then squeezed them around there. What a great idea, and it seems to be working quite well. I mean, we got good flow and everything. Mm. All right, so I think I may have figured out how I'm going to run this because I really don't want to buy another radiator that's thinner and buy whole new sets of fans that are thinner just so I can run this radiator at the top. So I thought about putting it in the front before I start running all of my tubing because I've only ran the front part of the tube. I haven't ran the return yet, which it goes to the radiator. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting the radiator here. But if it goes here, this is where the pump is. There's not enough room there for a fan. See, a fan... Uh, see, a fan just... It will not fit in there. There's just not enough room. So what I thought about doing was running kind of a weird configuration. Putting one fan down here at the bottom to suck air through the front here and then for the top here i thought about putting because it fits on the outside thought about putting the fans on the outside of the radiator so that's where the radiator will be at and these fans will will basically suck air but now here's my other problem there's no place for it to suck air at so i tried to put these little ridges in the side here but that's only so much if i go with this configuration i may not be able to run this front panel but maybe i can just get away with it from for now or something but that's how i'm thinking of running this sucker it's like that, is this weird radiator fan configuration. Alright, so I'm just going to try to do a side fill. At least get the reservoir a little bit of water in it. And then I'll kick the pump on. And we will go from there. So I can see water climbing. Okay, so right there it looks good. That's the drain valve but we're not trying to drain nothing so we'll just go ahead and cap that off okay so let's go ahead and get it some power because there's a lot inside that reservoir that you got to get all right so we just poured a little bit more into it like that the flow meter is going the pump is winding flow meter is flowing I don't see any actual physical leaks anywhere. It looks good. Those look dry. Everything looks good so far. My ghetto rigging in the back is working without a hitch. Oh, it's getting all the air bubbles out. That's why I got this valve open right here because it's going to push all the air bubbles. But we're getting good flow. You can see the water that's getting pushed out. Good flow action. Good, good flow. Let's, uh, let's pour a little bit more water in it. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh come on, Don. Damn it. That was my own fault right there. Get that out of there. Let's get some fresh paper towel in there. I just got the damn board wet. I swear I've been kind of rough on this board lately. Um, I'm not surprised if I'm going to have to replace it after I've done all this hard work uh, because I've gotten things wet in it. Um, I've accidentally damaged it at one point. Um, hopefully that was all of the wetness on that bore. Flow meter seems to be flowing quite well. Pump is working quite well. Let me uh, Let me get a little more water in it. Shove this down inside there, that way we don't get no nothing. Okay, we're just gonna do it nice and slow. Fill her on up. 
Okay, that looks good. What we are going to be adding, what we are going to add to this loop is PT Nuke. This is a biocide. Um, it really only takes, I would say, maybe two or three drops. And that's really all you need. Just to try to... Hey guys, please drop me a like. I need y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And once again, I appreciate y'all.